here's the Kia Optima 2014 SX Turbo. It's in Remington red with uh, black leather interior. Leave it up to me to buy a beautiful car in the middle of the worst winter in decades. I've been uh, going crazy trying to keep it clean. This is uh, probably the second nice day that we've had since I had the car. Uh, just got it washed. I did a hand wax yesterday. Let's do a quick walk around. These, uh, these are the 18-inch wheels. There are 19-inch wheels available on the limited model, but then you start to, to get way too expensive for me. Definitely good looking, uh, beautiful paint, especially when it's new and shiny. The new roof is open. This car sticker price was $33,350. Um, nicely loaded with uh, almost every option. Has the uh, technology pack with the navigation and the uh, backup camera. Move up to the limited. That's another uh, another five grand or so. You get fancier leather seats, 19-inch wheels, and I think uh, a sportier uh, suspension. Here's a demonstration of the folding side view mirrors, which uh, everybody seems to think is cool. Kind of a little uh, Batmobile thing going on. I'm not touching my keys. There is a uh, proximity sensor. Proximity sensor. My keys are in my pocket. Uh, as I approach the car, it will know that I have the keys in my pocket and it'll welcome me by uh, having the mirrors flip out and again no key needed press this button once the doors unlock press it twice and unlocks all the doors there's also a uh, control on the door if you want to manually make the mirrors move in and out for whatever reason inside the car you can see the uh, all the controls are on the steering wheel uh, cruise control is very prominent on the right. Um, I don't use cruise control very much, and I really wish the audio controls were there instead, like they were in my old car. Um, audio controls instead are on the left, um, and they have these weird thumb buttons. Um, I find them a little bit rough on my hand, actually. I would have preferred uh, buttons like these. Um, my old car had that. Some Kia models have it. The Optima apparently has these little switch things that I don't really love. Um, you can also activate the voice controls from here and change the, the drive mode, which will change you from uh, normal to uh, economy mode to sport mode. And it actually changes the, um, the way that the car shifts. In, a, in economy mode, it'll uh, get you out of gear quicker, trying to get you into that uh, sixth gear to save, uh, to save gas. In sport mode, um, it, it shifts a lot quicker, and uh, there's definitely a lot more power there. Uh, moving over to the infotainment system, which they call UVO. Um, when you go into accessory mode, it'll light up. Um, every time you start the car, you'll notice um, you'll have to you have to agree to their uh, their safety warning. I haven't, I haven't found a way around that yet. Hit agree. Um, there is no key. Everything is a push-button key, which, uh, which kind of annoyed me at first. Um, just not used to that, I guess. Um, you'll see here that you have, um, you know, FM, AM, satellite. Uh, one of the other differences coming out of my old car was uh, apparently this is a GM thing, and most other cars are like the Kia. And I didn't even know this until recently, and uh, I'm not quite sure why they do this, but you have. Uh, AM, which has six presets. You have FM1, FM2, has six presets each. And then under satellite, you have uh, Sirius 1, 2, and 3 for 18 presets. Um, in GM cars, you can have preset 1 be FM, and the next one is AM, next one is, uh, is satellite. Um, you can't do that here. Each bank um, is either FM or AM or Sirius. Um, Another thing that annoys me is if you're in, uh, say you're in preset number six, and you use the steering wheel controls to move up, it doesn't doesn't automatically cycle to the next bank. It goes right back to number one within that bank. So it makes it hard to just uh, channel surf while you're driving, which I'm I'm pretty used to doing. 
Um, the car does have uh, home link buttons on the rear view mirror similar to uh, my old Malibu. Um, these are not lit up at night though, so I thought that was, was kind of cheap. You kind of have to feel around for the button. Um, one of my favorite features is the uh, the blind spot indicator, which, I don't know if you can see it on the side view mirror, there's an orange light that will light up if there's a, a car on your side. Um, if there's a car on your side and your blinker is on, um, you'll get the light and a chime will play to, to try to warn you. Um, I didn't really think much of that when I got the car, but I've really grown accustomed to it, and I feel like I could could change lanes now with a, a lot more confidence, knowing that the, there's I, I won't get into an accident by doing that. Um, besides the the side by side, um, when you're in reverse, it also detects uh, cars approaching. So if you've ever been uh, in a parking lot and you're backing up and you just miss hitting somebody, like most of us have, this would alert you with a uh, light and a chime if there's uh, somebody approaching. Uh, it does have heated and ventilated seats, uh, driver and passenger. Um, the rear seats are heated only, not ventilated. Um, and just be careful, they are ventilated and not cooled. Um, the manual does go in depth to explain what that means, but it sounds like there's still there's some confusion online. Uh, a ventilated seat will take the cabin air and circulate it through the seat. It will not cool the air that goes through the seat. So you're only really going to get an effect from that uh, after the, the AC is on and the cabin is cooled down. Then the seat will become cooled. Um, on the driver's side, there's buttons for the, the gas cap and the trunk release. Those are also not illuminated, not illuminated at night. So you kind of have to feel around um, and, and figure out where they are. Um, the the blind the blind spot toggle is on the left of the steering wheel over here. While you're driving, uh, you can't see if, if that's on or off. So if for some reason you wanted to turn it off, you kind of have to peer around. Uh, not that big of a deal since I'll, I'll never turn, turn it off, but it just seem to be in, in a weird spot. Uh, there are memory seats. Um, right here so if you have two drivers in the house um, you set, set one to one, set the other one to two so you don't have to fight over the seat position the side view mirrors uh, are not attached to this I, I think the Taurus um, if you get that car the, this feature will control memory seat and memory mirror this car does not do that the car does have a panoramic sunroof which means that the sunroof basically goes the full length of the roof I'll go ahead and open that and you'll see that the, uh, the front of the roof opens, the back does not. Uh, a lot of people seem to ask if I could get the, the back to open, it, it does not open. Uh, pretty cool, a little bit of a convertible effect, uh, yeah, more of a novelty, um, probably more exciting for people in the, the back seat than, than the front seat really. Jumping over to the navigation real quick. Uh, when I first started using it, I found it very confusing and uh, really didn't like it that much. Now I've, I've really grown to like it. There's a lot going on on the screen. Uh, it doesn't look too exciting here, but uh, it does have uh, serious traffic, a um, bunch of POIs, which are points of interest. So if you need a gas station or a hospital or a restaurant, for example, let's go to a restaurant. And I am parked in a parking lot, and this shows me there's a Subway, McDonald's, and, and Burger King right across the street, and that, that's true. Um, one thing I don't like about the car, and this this came to my attention after I, I drove it a few days to work, uh, apparently this has been an issue since the 2011 Optimus came out, and there really has not been a great solution yet. Um, some people have the have it worse. I it, it doesn't bother me that bad, but it's not right. Uh, if you're at highway speeds, say call that 60 and above, and you have a straightaway, the steering feels pretty heavy. It almost feels like the, the wheels are slightly out of alignment. It's kind of hard to hold the car in a straight line without always correcting. Um, there's been a lot of complaints about it. Um, it it has, not been, has not been addressed yet. Uh, like I said, this has been going back since the, the 2011 uh, model year. Um, 
I called my service department and they said it's because of the electric steering and there's really, there has not been a recall and there's no way to fix it yet. Um, just keep that in mind though. If you, if you do a test drive of this, get it up to the highway speeds, um, try to hold it on a straightaway and, and, and try to get a feel, see if that bothers you. The feature this car does not have that apparently is, a, is also another GM only thing. Um, there is a tire pressure monitor system that will alert you if, if a tire is low. It'll tell you which tire is low, but it won't give you the numbers on the tires. Um, in my Malibu, you can see all four tires at any given moment and the exact air pressure in each one. Um, that's not available here. So if I picked up the car and something was overinflated, I wouldn't know. It's only, it's only going to tell you if a tire is underinflated. Um, it'll tell you which tire, but you can't get the exact number. Um, and that was something I had for years in GMs going back 13 years now. Never really thought of it as, as much of a feature. I just kind of thought everybody had it. But again, apparently only uh, it's, it's a GM only thing. And I definitely miss having it. Now that it's nighttime, I just want to take a second to show you how those, uh, those buttons don't light up like I was mentioning before. Um, take a look at the side view mirror here. I'm sorry, the rear view mirror. You'll see that uh, you can't see the home link at all. If you put this light on, then you can see. In the previous Malibu that I had, these would be lit up. I think it's kind of cheap that they're not lit up in this car. Uh, same goes for the, the gas tank and the, uh, the trunk opening here. You can't see them at all when you turn the light on, and uh, hopefully you can see something. <laughs> this camera, you still might not be able to see it. Also, if uh, if the car is in gear, you can't you can't see the um, the heated or the ventilated seat controls neither. Here it is in gear, and uh, those controls are over here. In park, you can see them, but not while you're driving. Uh, I know in the uh, in the Kia Credenza, those buttons are more over here, so you can you can see them more easily. In the Malibu, since I keep using that for comparison, um, they're also in a really stupid spot. They're on the, the side of the seat between your left leg and, and the door, so that's even worse. You can't see it at all. Okay.